welcome to Craft and Things at the Winona Public Library. Craft and Things is offered the second Monday of each month. Today we'll be making macrame hanging plants. So macrame will be done with twine and we'll look to me making something like this. Let's get started. So you should measure out, I, I am using a yardstick and I'm going to measure out four feet of string to use. And once you get your four foot string, then you can simply just take your other string and measure it. Now I've provided you with four four foot strings anyway in your craft kit, but if you were doing this from the very beginning, this is how you got there. So I'm just going to do measure that out again. You can see I'm just taking fresh string out of the spool or fresh twine, whatever it is you choose to make yours from. And there I have it. So I will do this to have four of them. And that will be all I need to get started with this. The length of your string determines the length of your macrame holder. So if you like it longer from the ceiling or a hook or something, then you'll want to make those longer. We are just working with four foot. Okay, and so I have my four strings or four rows of twine and I'm going to just match all of them up by the ends. Doesn't have to be precise but that's what I do. Then I string it all out. And you can you want to make sure that there's no gaps. So you make it taut and go about halfway because you want to get about the halfway mark on this. So this is about how how long the, the maximum it can be, but we're going to be tying knots, so it's actually going to be shorter than this. So what you do is you take this according to the directions, you, we loop it in half and tie a knot to create a handle. So this is our handle, this loop right here. So you kind of decide how big of a handle you want. I don't want it too generous, I just want it to be able to go over a hook or um, hang on to something and then we have it. Okay, we just made our knot for that. And then I'm going to put this knot on a hook so I can show you the weaving process that we're going to do. I have this, have this hook on here. Just It works for me. You could use anything else that you wanted. You could even use a like a 3M hook and tape it onto your table and pull your, um, put your handle over that. But it, it doesn't really matter. I just like this. So what I'm going to do is the instructions say split twine into four sections. So we have our four strings of twine. Um, split twine. Split twine into four sections of two strings. So, four sections of two strings. So, that's my four sections of two strings. Tie knots between each section three inches from the handle. So, we would be tying a knot. About three inches I'm going to go with that or again I could use my handy dandy measuring stick so it kind of gives me an idea and you only really need that for the one so I'm just taking it and doing a knot like this and again kind of eyeballing where that is you can measure if you so desire. I'm going to pull it down a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to do that with each one. And so this kind of becomes my guide where I want that knot to go. 
So I'm simply making a loop, pulling it through, and then I'm going to use this other one where I started to kind of identify where I want that knot. Same thing with this. Making a loop, bringing that through, and then I pull those other ones up to kind of adjust where I want that knot to be. So I'm getting them pretty close. Here again, take this, make a loop, bring it through, bring these down and decide where I want my knot to be. Okay, so there is my first set. And then it says to repeat tying knots to adjacent strings. So now I'm going to take these two and I'm going to take these knot, these two together. So you can see I've got two strands, two knots. Now I'm going to put my knot somewhere in here. Okay. So maybe I want it shorter, maybe I want it longer. The, the key is to make sure this it's big enough to accommodate the jar you're going to add to it. So I'm just going to keep on with the three inches to use that as my guide. So again, I'm just going to pull up my ruler, kind of eyeball where three inches is, and tie it. And I'm going to take <clears throat> my next adjacent string. And if you don't want it to twirl, you can untwirl it. I'm going to use this as my guide. And continue making my knots. And trying to get it about the same area. So now this is my next adjacent one. So you can kind of see this happening here, this pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and continue with that until I made four new knots that are just below where the other, where the original one started. Three of the four, my last set right here. And you can see this is how this, the twine gets shorter. So if you want a longer hanging macrame, you have to make it longer. Okay, so now I have these set up and I kind of can look where that is. So now I'm going to take the next two. And do the same thing. Go down about three inches. So here I'm looking for that adjacent string. And take this next one. this again for the last one. Sometimes you kind of got to look like where can I find it where did it go and that's okay. 
as long as you don't get it too mixed up if you're still choosing adjacent strings. Okay, so you can see I have this kind of woven pattern in here. And then I might want to take an, a, a you know, look at what size am I going to do here? You know, how, how low do I want it to hang? So I might just kind of eyeball this. And then if I like it where it's at, I can just make a knot here at the bottom. So I think I want a couple little ones right here. I'm going to make them shorter. And just see what kind of design this makes. And then I'm going to take this last bit and I'm just going to put a knot in it to have all the tassels, all the ends come together and hang from the bottom. I could have made that a little shorter, but this is what makes the difference of how long your macrame is. And now I'm going to see if my jar will fit in here or not, and it does. So then you can see how this is put together. So this one I'm going to make a little bit more like <clears throat> the picture that comes with the instructions. So it shows doing um, your four set of two strings and the picture itself shows knots a little lower down so I'm going to do it that way because that will accommodate a bigger jar in the center depending again how you want it to be so I'm going to just eyeball what I want it to be and I'm going to just keep making my knots about the same height as that first one. So this one is a little bit more forgiving because I'm just setting it up as I go. And they don't all have to be the same. You can vary it. I'm just looking for that uniformity and the look of my strings. So there I have my knots. Then <clears throat> I'm going to take